Good day, everyone. Eric here with another West Coast Shaving Daily Shave. Let's get right into it. So this is another late night shave. I'm gonna have to keep the volume down quite a bit, and I'll get into a little bit of the narrative of why that is today. But it's been a rather busy week, rather busy day. We're leaving on a trip tomorrow, and I wanted to get one of these cranked out. Plus, I need to shave because I don't think I'm gonna shave during my trip. So today, we're going to be going with the West Coast Shaving Bay Rum. This is in their new line of soaps. If you go back into the archive in the not so distant archive, our good friend EJ, also from The Daily Shave, did a nice video on the barbershop scent. There's 10 fragrances that are gonna be available in this lineup. Bay Rum is one of my favorites. Bay Rum to me is a mainstay scent. It's probably one of the first scents that I ever loved when I started wet shaving about seven years ago. And that's largely in part to Nick Shaves. He's the video series I started to watch. He's a lot of the reason why I fell in love with this hobby and Bay Rum was a favorite of his. It's one of the first fragrances that I ever experimented with. The Barrister Man Bay Rum was one of the very first artisan soaps I ever owned. That clove, bay leaf, and rum combination, it's just amazing if you like and prefer that type of a scent. Now, what's interesting about this one is there's rum, there's bay leaf, no clove, just so you know. So if you're fond of that note, it's not present here. Now, what there also is, is a hint of cola. And this was inspired by a Suavecito pomade that I don't know the name of it. I'll get that information for you and maybe convey it in the next video, or it might be in the description below when this video finally posts. However, that's the inspiration behind the soap fragrance itself. So this is a very different bay rum. I get the bay, I get the rum, the bay leaf and the rum. It's very fragrant. It's very, I guess, effervescent is the word that I want to use. It's, it's very fragrant. It's probably about a seven, yeah, about a seven on scent strength, but it's very pleasant. And the absence of the clove, I think, makes it a little more versatile. And you can probably use it in different situations. So for me, Bay Rum is not something that I would consider an everyday fragrance. I have the Sterling Bay Rum. I have others in there. I'm half asleep right now, so I can't remember all of them. But Bay Rum for me, even though it's a mainstay for me, it's not something that I can wear every day. I find myself favoring it more in cold weather than I do warm weather. And this one, I think you might get away with in different times of the season. So right now we're heading right into summer here in California. It is officially summer, even though it's not that hot yet, but this works perfectly. I think you'll find that as you smell this, it's got a lot more versatility and you can use it in a lot more situations in which you go out and present yourself from a fragrance perspective. All right, so let's get into the shave. Pardon me one second, I'm gonna grab a towel. Thankfully I have one on hand. And I'll give you some more details as we get into this. Give you some details about the soap. The splash. The tool I'm gonna to use to mow all this down and the blade inside of it. All right, so this is the tub. And if you watch EJ's shave already, I recommend that you do. EJ's a good buddy of mine and I always like his take and perspective on things. And he does it much quicker than I do. So if you don't like these long-winded videos, EJ gives you all the substance in less time. So check it out though. He did the barbershop review. He loves barbershop and uh, he did that review. When I saw the fragrances that were available, I said, give me Bay Rum and the other one, I'll leave you in suspense for the next video. But Bay Rum was definitely top of my list. But these soaps are made by Peter Charcalis, who I don't think needs any introduction in the shape community. He's so well known, he's very popular, makes great product. And he's a gentleman I've had more interaction with over the last couple of years. And I just, I think he's a great guy. And the thing I think I appreciate most about him is his passion for this hobby. There's folks that you meet that you kind of really don't know where they stand. And for me, just based on my career and the things that I do for a living, one of the things that I appreciate most about people, especially from a business perspective, is passion. You can tell he really cares about and really loves what he does, really enjoys what he does. And this probably isn't work for him just because he enjoys it so much. I respect that. 
So what he's introduced here is a tallow-based formulation that is going to be specific to West Coast shaving. I don't know if this is something that will leak out into the market in other forms, but I think this is going to be a West Coast shaving exclusive because it is a partnership with them with this line of products. It is tallow-based and it does have oils and butters in it. So not only does it have the tallow to provide density, cushion, and protection, but it's also going to give you those oils and butters to provide skin nourishment. That's what you want. Those to me are the hallmarks of a quality soap base today. Didn't take me much time to load the brush up, but because it's tallow, and I can tell already because of how dry it is, it's gonna be a thick soap. So I have to add water. So it's not a it's not a mishap or a performance deficit by the soap. It's just I haven't added water yet. I'm gonna work it in slowly. Like my good friend Gerard told me how to do a couple of years ago. Some of the best advice I ever got in the hobby. But this is going to be some thick stuff. And I can tell you right now, you can throw a lot of water at this base. This is my first go with it. I often, I should probably experiment to, with this stuff before I shave, but... I often don't have time to do it, and I don't know. A part of me hopes that you enjoy the real-time reaction. I've only got the water running just because I'm going back to it pretty frequently here. I don't want to keep stopping and starting. Give me one second, I'll turn it off. All right, this is good, but I've added an exorbitant amount of water. I usually don't do my mustache while I'm talking just because the soap will start getting into my mouth. And I don't want that. But I have thrown a geyser at this and look at it go. So again, this is tallow base. And if you have any experience with Peter's soaps in the past, now this is not Kaizen, I'm certain of that. This is something that he made specifically for West Coast Shaving. But as soon as I found out that Peter was the artisan behind this product, I didn't ask a lot of questions because I know what type of quality to expect. I know how he approaches things. He's always tinkering. And he's the type of guy that when he's doing that, you're never wondering why he's doing it. You know that he's doing it for the sole purpose of making improvements every time. He feels like there's something more that he can do or there's something else he can stretch or there's more quality that he can get out of a specific product or formulation that he's working on. The Kaizen base I have experience with, it's fantastic. I've used a couple of his bases, I wanna say. I can't remember everything that existed prior to that, but Peter's always been a pretty, pretty skilled individual when it comes to soap making. I haven't been on the A&E train for very long, but I'm glad I got on. And uh, my buddy EJ over there, he's been on it for a long time and he just a big fan of Peter's work and I am quickly becoming a big fan myself. So if you're wondering about the quality of this base, if you have questions about that, I'm hoping that answers a lot of your questions about this collaboration. But my skin feels great. There's no irritation. The soap is, look at that. I can still add a lot more water. I can still stretch this product. I think I'm gonna stop there. I think that's probably good enough. I went with the this is the Burlwood brush by West Coast Shaving. There's the coin on the bottom. You've seen me use it in the last couple of videos. I like it just for these videos because I can reach for it. I don't have to do any prep work with it, soaking and such. And I'm the type that, you know, I'm always doing like today we're packing laundry, all kinds of stuff. I had to wrap up stuff with work, but I'm the type that I like to clean my hands before I start touching all my shaving stuff. And sometimes I just don't feel like cleaning my hands. <laughs> so I'll just do it once before I shave. That's the OCD in me. And that's why I love the synthetic brush, just because it's easy to grab and use. And there's not a lot of preparation. Just run it under the water. It's ready to go. 
All right, so today's razor, it's a West Coast shaving stainless steel handle. This is the lav lathe head that was designed by Charcoal Goods. This is a machined metal. This is not stainless steel. The handle is, the head is not. It's very mild. It's got that triangular shape. I've got a Rapira stainless steel blade. This is a blade that was recommended to me by Chris Cullen from Katie's Bubbles. He doesn't use DEs very often, but it's his favorite DE. Chris is very particular, so I thought, you know what? He loves it, I'm gonna try it, and it's a pretty good blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a whirl. Oh yeah, this is nice. So this design, what I like about this is Charcoal Goods was uber popular. As many of you know, they've exited the community. But they were extremely popular, not just because of fanfare or because of, I don't know, any type of popularity or because of people that they knew. They were popular because of the performance behind their products. As people started to use them, people became a lot more enamored with the products. When you use, especially with the DE Razor, when you find an instrument that is easy to use, is aesthetically nice, and is comfortable and provides the performance that you're looking for, it's a wonderful thing. I know for me, especially at this stage, I've remarked on this in the past, I'm always looking for comfort these days. That's kind of what I'm after more than anything. The aesthetics are there too, but I'm always, always striving for comfort. And just to interrupt this public service announcement, but this base is super slick and ultra protective. I'm not feeling a thing. Now, this is a mild head, but I was using this with my 34C and I got a different type of shave with it. This base is pretty outstanding. Price point, forgot to mention that. It's $25 for the soap, $22.50 for the splash, but there's a 20% off sale going on right now. So you get the soap for 20 bucks, get the splash for 18 bucks. If you purchase during this, this window, I believe it's the 4th of July sale. Oh my gosh, this is a comfortable shave. The shave like I'm getting right now is what I desire. This is what I strive for. This is luxurious. This is quintessential pampering. I have to say, I've been getting some pretty stellar shaves on camera lately. So where I was going with the razor too is charcoal goods had a pretty high price point because it was machined. I think there was brass and stainless steel. There might've been some other metals in there too. The only car charcoal goods that I own are the collaborations that they did with West Coast Shaving. There's three total. I have all three in different forms. However, if you're striving for a shave like that, maybe you don't want to dump something north of $100 to get a quality safety razor, you can get this. This lathe is really inexpensive. I wanna say it's south of $20 to get the head. Base plate with the head on top, it's a super comfortable design. Charcoal Goods did design it. They actually designed this razor. Just the materials were sourced by West Coast Shaving. So it wasn't the, the individual, I forget his name, behind Charcoal Goods. He's not the one that machined it, but he designed the head. So West Coast Shaving took that design had it mass produced and you can get it for an inexpensive price. So if you're looking to get the type of shave that you would get from a high-end razor without having to dump the money associated with that high-end razor, you can buy something like this. This handle too, stainless steel, same thing. I think it's like less than 25 bucks. So the combination between the two, you can spend less than $50 and get a full safety razor experience that would give you the same quality that you would achieve with something north of $100. That's pretty cool. And I think too, there's a lot of, um, 
in this hobby, one of our favorite things to do oftentimes is shave of the days. We're putting our shave on display and we want to put our best foot forward. We want to feature quality products. And that's oftentimes too why I think we'll spend the money. And when I'm making a purchase, for example, if I'm commissioning a custom brush, one of the first things I think about is, okay, what colors do I need? What soaps do I have that don't have a matching brush? These are the things that are going on inside my head. They didn't used to in the very beginning. I was just trying to get my hands on product. But today, when I think back seven years ago, I'm thinking, man, what a simpler time. It was just so much easier. Now, the quality of product that we have today far surpasses where we were seven years ago. But when I think back then, it was just a lot easier to approach this hobby. Today, there's so many moving parts. But it's great. It's all good stuff. First pass was terrific. I love this base. I love this scent. Again, tallow formulation with oils and butters. The splash is going to be a skin food formulation. But this is great. Great, great collaboration. West Coast Shaving has partnered in the past with Fida from Chicago Grooming. It used to be Olio. They partnered with Chris Cullen from Katie's Bubbles. They're partnering with Peter Charcalis now. I love these collaborations and I love the artisans that get involved and get behind. West Coast Shaving will always have a special place in my heart. If you've seen any of my previous videos, they were located right near my home. And when I was new in the hobby, I was overjoyed by the fact that there was a shop near my house, just because at the time it was really only West Coast Shaving, Maggards, and Italian Barber. Italian Barber's in Canada, Maggards is in Michigan. None of those locations are near me, so I had to do orders, mail orders. But having the shop near here was great. And I was there back when it was in that commercial plaza. It had a warehouse type setting and it was an awesome place to behold. You walked in there and it was wall to wall shape. And that was before the artisan scene got really big. They did have a section for artisanal products and it did gain steam and you know gather traction, but it was, I mean, just wall to wall traditional stuff that we know about Speak, Parasso, um, you know, Cella, I mean, Taylor Bolt Bond Street, uh, St. James of London. I mean, I'm trying to think of all the names. I forget some of these names now because I've gone so artisanal over the last seven years that I don't really have any of that traditional stuff. I had a lot in the beginning because that's what everybody was reviewing on their channels. Then the artisan scene blew up and obviously we get amazing stuff now. All right. We fly out super early in the morning. It's after one here right now. But when I have an early flight like that, I often have a hard time sleeping. We got a six hour flight ahead of us, so hopefully I'll sleep on the plane. Try to get a three hour snoozer in there. Wake up, shower, load the truck, we're out of here. So there's a number of different fragrances. And I will divulge. The other scent I got is cherry. I love cherry. It's hard to find a good one. This one's great. Peter just awesome, awesome. I think I found out Peter did this stuff after I got the product. So I was overjoyed because the cherry smells spectacular. And I remember some time ago, I was bothering Chris Cullen about making a cherry scent. He does have one. And I had nothing to do with that. But I remember the remark he made to me is he goes, you know, cherry's hard to work with because it's hard to develop one that doesn't smell like a cough drop. And I said, you know, that makes sense. And up until that point, I hadn't smelled but maybe one really stellar cherry scent that's really no longer available in the community. There was one, not going to get into it, that is should be enshrined forever in the Wet Shaving Hall of Fame. And uh, if we have more time one day, I'll get into what that was. It's not available anymore, but it was spectacular. It was never another cherry like it. This one's pretty close, though. So when I got this scent, the Bay Run, Out of This World, the cherry uh, scent, 
spectacular. So I don't think you can miss. I haven't smelled the others yet. EJ's got the barbershop and I forget the other one that he has. But there's going to be your traditional scent bases or scent fragrances that we're accustomed to seeing in the marketplace. And there's a couple of rare ones out there. So if you go on the website, they're all on sale, but you can see the entire lineup on the site and see if any of those scents or fragrances tickle your fancy. It's something you're looking for. This Bay Rum though, if you're a Bay Rum head, this thing is awesome. This one, I wouldn't even match it up. If, if, if I had to give an award to my favorite Bay Rum, it would be the Bear Stern Man Bay Rum. The Sterling Bay Rum smells strikingly similar. I mean, almost identical. But this one, I wouldn't really classify with those. This one's in a league of its own. This one kind of goes its own way, its own direction, and kind of paves its own path. And it's awesome. I could see myself wearing this a little more frequently. It still has this place, though. It's still Bay Rum. All right, I think I'm going to nip it here. I'm already at 21 minutes, my goodness. I remember thinking in my head, I'm just going to come on and say this and say that walk off, but you know what? I love these videos too much. I appreciate you guys too much. And I know there's folks that come on and my favorite part of this is the comments afterwards. I always appreciate what you all have to say. And the fact that anybody would watch me shave is still astonishing to me. I appreciate it more than you know. And I think all the shavers feel that way. I mean, you guys can watch anything you want to watch. You don't have to watch this, but you choose to do it. And I appreciate that deeply. All right. So it's really going to come down to fragrance preference on these. Can't strike out. It's Peter Charcalis. The base... Fantastic, fantastic. Whatever it is, it's fantastic. And some of the stuff, when it's a collaboration or partnership where it's something done specially for a specific retailer, you may not get all the details. It might be something that's left in secret just because that's the formulation that he did for this company, maybe the same for the Splash, the fragrances that he's producing, and there you go. You know what? I'm gonna do a cleanup too just because I don't want to hassle with TSA. I don't think I'm going to bring anything shave worthy. We're heading out on a nice trip and I think I'm just going to let it grill while I'm there. I think it's going to be a very shave friendly trip anyway. Why do I keep doing that? I don't know. Okay. It's late. This is a very easy razor to, to maneuver in my problem area, which is my mustache. Super easy, no friction. I've even got a bump there. I've run over it a couple times. You can see it on camera. Still hasn't cut it. Now watch now that I said that I'm going to rip it right open. All right. Going to do a quick cleanup. Apply the splash. And hopefully go to bed with a sparkle. This paper rum is so good. Bay leaf rum. Cola. Apparently there is a, oh my gosh, it smells even better off the tub. Apparently there's a pomade this was inspired by, and you'll find a lot of fragrances in the market. Some of them, or many of them, are inspired by something. It could be a landscape, it could be something in the artisan's past, it could be a pomade, could be a cologne, could be and we, we've kind of veered away from dupes, I found, which is good, right? We, we started doing the Creed Aventus thing too much and all those kinds of things. Although Peter does have a pretty mega Spartacus, awesome, awesome take on Creed Aventus. But we've kind of veered away from that and artisans have kind of gotten more into the creative mode, which is good, you know? But um, 
Man, this is good. This is really, really good. I think you're gonna like it. If you're a fan of Bay Rum, you're gonna like it. The clove is absent, but the scent isn't lacking anything. Not a thing. All right, so I just pulled the soap that was left. I didn't load this very long, but there's more than enough soap, as you can see, to do a shave. I'm just gonna do a quick cleanup just because I'm not gonna shave for the next probably five days. And since this isn't a business trip, if there's a business trip, I'd be packing, shaving stuff, but. I'm gonna forego it this time. What an awesome send off shave. I hope you guys are blessed and doing well. This community is one of the primary reasons I stay on Facebook. What a great group of people. I've got this video. I'm probably gonna produce one when I get back next week. It'll be a late week, but next week. And uh, I know EJ's got some videos coming. Let's go shave, you might introduce some other surprises, who knows. But you can see a lot of what we've produced lately has been proprietary items sold exclusively at West Coast Shaving and by West Coast Shaving and have the West Coast Shaving branding. That's the direction they seem to be heading. And I'm cool with that. Collaborations like this, this is amazing. No qualms with the base. So if I'm putting a punctuation mark on my assessment of the base, it's outstanding. There's, it's Peter Charcalis all the way. If you love Kaizen, if you love any of his predecessors, this is right up to par, right up to snuff with everything he's doing currently and contemporarily. It's amazing. You will love it. This is, you've heard me say this before, this is one of those improve my mood type shaves. This is great. This was a great, great shave. I feel fantastic. And again, I'm going right to sleep. This is a great shave. Soap base is slick, protect. I didn't feel a thing. I didn't feel a thing during the shave. Not the blade, not the knocking of the razor, didn't feel anything. Very protective, very slick, very dense, low structure, high density, it's the name of the game. Has all that. Now I'm gonna go for the grand finale. Get in just under 30 minutes. This is what the splash bottle looks like, that apothecary-like bottle. The color anyway, I think apothecary actually looks more like a rectangular type shape, but it's like apothecary color. Really nice, pretty standard community. The labeling is very nice, waterproof labels. Don't have to worry about all that. I haven't even opened this yet. Seal's still on. Oh, it's awesome. The splash, gotta have it. If, if you're gonna just do the soap, I wouldn't. The splash is a little different. And I like that it's that way. This is an alcohol-based splash, but the alcohol is very subdued. And it's a skin food formulation. If you know anything about that, you're gonna love it. Oh, this is nice. Oh. Well done, Peter Charcalis and West Coast Shaving. This is an amazing, amazing product. Smells good. That smells really good. This is a very, very different spin on Bay Rum. So again, if you're a Bay Rum fan, check this out. It, it's slightly modified. It goes down a different path, but you'll see some semblances of 
traditional bay rum with a contemporary spin, but it is spectacular. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Hope you got the information that you were looking for. Looking forward to your comments below. We'll see you all soon. Till next time, God bless you guys.